welcome everyone to another edition of psychoeducation and today we are talking about demystifying the psychotherapy room and I thought before we started it is good that I explain this mural this beautiful mural that is here that was done by the artist known as Wama uh, whom I hope uh, you get to meet and work with right so essentially we have a caterpillar that goes into the stage of the chrysalis and then it becomes a butterfly and this is so significant because unlike any other kind of you know interventions that are meant to improve your mental health psychotherapy is staged and psychotherapy takes time and that's why you should always give yourself time if you are where you're at at any one of these three stages and you don't honor the requirements of each stage then you risk abortion of your own self in any one of these three stages but the beauty of being able to give yourself time is that once you're able to start from where you are where, where you are at get into the stage of chrysalis as you can see it's like an oven and it's a furnace that's burning and this is basically psychotherapy you know you are in a place where we will provide for you safety and protection to be able to incubate, to be able to marinate, to be able to undergo the kind of necessary forming that you need to undergo. And when you are ready, when it is time, then you can branch out into this, into being this beautiful um, butterfly that we are seeing here. Of course, this is Wama's impression under my guidance, but you get to choose your own colors, your own size, and in the direction that you fly in. And because this is a center for military veterans, I think my message to the military veterans out there who are struggling with readjustment, with transition, with reintegration, with post-traumatic stress uh, syndrome, I want you to know this. Every army, every army womb, every navy womb, every air force womb, every special forces womb, every ranger womb, right? Every long service ranger womb can undergo a process of psychotherapy and become aligned to a new way of life. And you are worth a second chance. Okay, very important. So every happy womb can become a butterfly. So give yourself time. Right, so I want to invite you to one of our therapy rooms. And I wanted to show you everything that happens in here. What is it, what it is equipped with, why it is there, because everything is quite intentional. So welcome. Okay. So it's very simple and very basic. We have the client's seat right here, very comfortable with a pillow because sometimes therapy is difficult and you need something to just assure yourself with. So you can always have the cushion. Um, our seats are pretty comfortable, accommodating and my feet are actually not touching the ground, so uh, it doesn't matter how tall you are. You can see we've catered to tall people uh, to be able to have a comfortable seating. We also have water, just normal drinking water. Uh, there's a lot of talking that happens in therapy and people suffer from dry mouth a lot, especially the therapists and the clients because there's a lot of talking. Then, therapy is tough. Therapy involves a lot of vulnerability. So you must always have facial tissues near you so that 
people can be able to catch their tears. Very important. The psychotherapy room is a laboratory, you know, where clients come to experiment on themselves and they also come to learn and therefore it's like a lecture room, right? So I'll give you a rundown of what this is. Um, so we are basically talking about connecting the dots. That's what we were talking about today. And this is coming out of a client who is extremely violent and very aggressive. Um, so we have to be able to understand what anchor feelings result in behavior that is unpleasant, that is, um, leaves the client feeling guilty, ashamed, and regretful. So in this particular case, um, the anchor feelings that were leading, that are leading this client to violence and aggression are desperation and fear. Okay? And so I think being able to understand that aggression and violence anchored in desperation and fear, the behavior is an, is an overcompensation, right? And it's an overcompensation so that the person can be able to self-protect, okay? And of course, people self-protect because they are afraid of being discovered. And people are afraid of being discovered because once you're discovered, then people judge you. And in this particular case, the judgment from people would be like, would be that the client is, is a coward. So you can see how we were able to connect these dots. You know, this, this is not something you can be able to sit down and explain to somebody. You have to be able to um, teach. And so teaching is at the very core of psychotherapy as well. So of course, we are looking to ensure that the outcome is to someone to be self-regulated, to be self-aware, and to self-manage, okay? Um, so that's basically a summary of uh, why this is also a lab and a lecture uh, room. Let's talk about the sitting on um, the psychotherapy room. One of the few things I learned about psychotherapy at the very beginning when I got into trouble with a client who threatened my physical safety was that I should never like sit the way you normally sit in an office or in a doctor's office where you have the door and then they are behind the desk and there's a window. So in the case of a psychotherapy room, as a therapist, where I choose to sit, yeah, where I choose to sit must always be very close to the door and yes, for ease of exit because um, self-protection is important. Not all clients are the same and they can either be uh, triggered or they can just be in a, in a state where they are not uh, well regulated. So we also have a bin in this room, important to mention, to just ensure that we manage the waste and we leave the room clean and neat. So that basically is the end of my presentation on the psychotherapy room. Um, this is just one of the rooms, like I said, and I hope you've been able to learn one, two, three things and what to expect when you come to a psychotherapy room. I hope that is helpful. Uh, come and claim your year of um, mental health and wellness uh, this year by signing yourself up for psychotherapy, you're most welcome. Find us um, at Office Suit C5, yes, C5, on the um, Fresta Center, Ngong Town. Yes, that's the one. C5, Fresta Center, Ngong Town. Uh, come and make uh, 2022 your year of uh, mental health and wellness. So thank you and see you on the next video. Let me know what you want to know about psychotherapy and psychology and therapists and therapy and all those things. So thank you and see you soon.